working on free code camp doing javascript algos and data structures we completed basic javascript and now we're moving into es6 uh, we are on challenge 7 of 29 and we're going to use the rest operator with function parameters so this rest and spread which we're going to be getting into in the next challenge uh, are very similar if not identical i'm not actually sure if there's a difference but uh, yeah let's get started on this one so when it's talking about the rest parameter it's talking about this so this dot 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 args that syntax is what's known as the rest or spread parameter and all it does is basically take in whatever it's given so you can see in this uh, what this is trying to teach us basically is to say if we have a function to make it more flexible we and maybe we don't know how many arguments how many parameters it's going to take in here right so you can see if we call it on this case we have one two and three it takes three arguments in this case it has one two three and four so we don't know how many arguments this function how many is going to take but we don't have to know because we can use the rest operator which accounts for all of them uh, you can think of this dot 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 args or this dot 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 whatever this rest operator um, as how I think of the spread operator, which is basically that this dot 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 whatever syntax just takes whatever is passed in in that case and lays it out there. It just kind of takes in this example these three items and lays them out here. In this example, it takes these four items and lays them out here. And we can access them through that args variable, that keyword, okay? And it's important to note as well that that args, that this args is an arbitrary variable name we could call this whatever we just have to have the dot 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 syntax that make it work okay so what we want to do is modify this sum function over here uh, using the rest parameter in such a way that the function sum is able to take in any number of arguments and return their sum okay so this line actually is going to do that last part for us this is going to sum them up and return it all we have to do is change these two lines to make it so that it can accept as many arguments as possible as or as many or as few right in this case right now it takes in three x y and z and we have them in an array x y and z we don't know that we're going to always have three arguments or three parameters kind of use interchangeably the word argument or parameter it's just the data that the function takes in here is the parameter and then within the function whatever actually gets passed this is the argument like all this string null that would be argument this variable that we'll use in there as a placeholder that's the parameter okay so all we have to do is modify this so that it can take in as many or as few as necessary and we know the syntax is the spread operator so if we just say dot 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 args that's the same thing and again we don't have to say args we could say like params and this would be the same thing we don't even need this line now and now we can say params dot reduce and then this will add them or we'll sum them all together right so if we run this on the args parameter okay so it does want us to use the keyword args this is important to note that this args is what free code camp wants this is not a javascript keyword we're just using this because this is what free code camp wants so let's try that there we go that's all we had to do for that one so as you can see here uh, we had all we had to do was take out that array line and we're just using the rest operator to spread however many uh, arguments are here and then access them within the function right so this could take one all the way up to a million or however many right however many arguments we needed because we have this spread operator that handles the logic of taking in as many or as few as needed so that's all this one this lesson was trying to teach us. I hope this explanation kind of made sense. Um, if I was trying to s summarize everything I just said is dot 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 variable name essentially just takes in whatever is being passed in and allows you to access it within it, right? So you don't need to know how many variable or uh, arguments or parameters are going to get passed in. You just spread or rest with this dot 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 syntax and then it'll count for all of them. In this case, three four one and zero right it doesn't matter it's just going to rest it's going to spread them the same way if i can undo that there we go and add them together so we'll take them in the function the same way cool that's all we had to do for that one hope that made sense and i hope to see you guys in the next video